Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, another update on the living tomb formation that I'm painting up. Uh, made great progress. Um, indeed, I'm very nearly done. Um, so what I'm going to do is just show you the work that I've been up to. Uh, now first of all on the two monoliths the only thing that I had left to do was finish up the two doors um, and I've successfully done that. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see this a bit better. So yeah, on the door there you can see I've done the, the gold on those two little symbols and I've done the white face. A nice bright stark white face which is how I have my white on my necrons. Um, and I think that uh, those different colours there really add a bit of depth to the, let's face it, pretty bland monolith where it's just obviously metal all over. Uh, so I've done that on both of those pieces. Um, and then on the wraith section, which is holding the transcendent Catan inside the uh, vault, um, again, I gave him a white face as well, just to maintain some consistency within the, the army. Um, I did go in with Methyl Silver on all of these little spikes on the end of his tendrils and also on these little mandible things there as well. Uh, so that's all finished up. And then on the outside of the actual vault itself, I probably have to zoom back out again. I've now gone in and um, done the symbols just on there. So I've done those gold. We'll zoom in again. Sorry about all the zooming. There you go, so I've painted those up um, and I've also gone into the claws on the tomb spiders that are on the outside and I've painted that uh, with the methyl silver. That's how I have all my claws um, in the army. So that is how the vault is going to look when it's uh, complete. Of course, I still have the, the base to do and the transcendent katam. So I'm going to start off with the Catan. I have made a little bit of progress on him since the last video. And this is how he's looking. So I mentioned that I had decided that I was going to go for a silver um, body on this thing. Um, I painted him um, with uh, chainmail and then also with methyl silver over the top. And I've extended the silver all the way out into the tendrils. Um, all the way around because I'm going to try and have the uh, the metal sort of almost like it's um, um, like molding into these tendrils as such it's like past so it's half metal half whatever color I paint these tendrils I'm still thinking green but I'm not 100% decided <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's how that guy's looking, and I'm, I'm really happy with how he's looking at the moment. Um, and I can envisage him um, looking pretty cool and finished, so we'll have to see. I've still got a lot more work to do on him, but that's how he's looking. I have been going into the base. I've done this on the Transcendent Catan base. Uh, basically, I just um, painted up the little green stuff crystal that I had there, put some sand on the base, and uh, painted it black. Um, I still have to dry brush that and I'm going to put on some little stones and stuff all around it as well. So that's sort of half done. And then I've been working on the other base, which I'm just going to move the camera down a bit. What I'll do is I'll put some work in progress uh, pictures of this base um, at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, I've basically now glued on all of the little scarabs and all the pieces of metal. I think it's looking really, really cool. Um, I had to prime it by hand, so I went in with the Games Workshop um, little pot of black imperial, is it called, the, the primer. Uh, primed all the plastic, and then I went in with uh, some Chaos Black and just blacked in everything. Um, after, of course, putting the sand on the base as well, of course. Um, and got those two little crystals at the back, um, and now all I need to do is paint up all the scarabs and the metal. Um, then I'll have to, because that will be dry brushed, I'll have to go back in and just paint over the, the, the mess of the dry brush as such. And then I'll have to dry brush the actual sand, which I do with Codex Grey. And I'll be adding some more rocks onto the base as well. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with how the base is looking. I think it's looking pretty cool. Um, once painted, hopefully it's going to look really nice on the actual obelisk.
So more to come in the next video, uh, where hopefully I would have finished the Catan, uh, finished up the bases, and I'll be ready to gr glue in all of the green rods on the monoliths, um, and finally do a showcase vid. Thanks for watching.